My name's um, Daniel Lawe. Um, I play as a right winger or left winger and I play for Vaif for Mannheim in Germany. Growing up in East London was, I want to say it was difficult because I had all my family here, but it was a grind, like, to get where I am today, it wasn't easy. Um, with my brothers it was good, of course, because they're doing the same thing as me, but um, of course with the support of my family, living in East London, I think growing up in the East London as a whole was good and that's maybe the person I am today, to be fair. Yeah, this is my twin brother. Um, he currently plays in Norway. Um, he played in Argentina. He was the first English player to ever play in Argentina and he played it for about two years. He played out with me in Greece. He played in Slovenia. So yeah, just having him playing the same sport as me, um, being very supportive, we took every single day. During the 65 days a year. So the story um, behind me actually going to Greece came about, me and my brother came with a crazy idea. So we got one of our close friends called Kevin to call my mom and dad because originally my mom and dad weren't really 100% sure of me going to Greece because there's a risk that we had to take. So I went on my mom's phone and I changed, <laughs> I changed, um, my friend's name on my mom's phone to the guy's name called Costas. So I got my friend to call and it came up as Costas on the phone. So my mom was like, oh, Costas is calling, Costas is calling. She gave it to my dad. Um, he spoke to my dad and then after, he told him that um, everything's going to be arranged, everything will be proper. They go to um, a few clubs there and see what happens and then spoke to my mom. The next day, uh, my mom and dad agreed that, yeah, it sounds good that we will go. Two weeks later, we were off to Greece, so yeah, it, it would have happened. It would have happened, but it would have happened in a slower way. So, but this was a shortcut for it happening. So, yeah, this is the best way that um, we went to Greece, but <laughs> it's a crazy story behind it. My mum still does not know until this day. <laughs> And my relationship with Reese Nelson, well, it happened when I was going to college and my college was in Chingford and the Hayland Arsenal training ground is in Walthamstow but it, it kind of crosses past with each other so I think there was one day me and my twin brother walking past the underpass and then sees a guy that plays for Arsenal so we started talking to him and then the following day he invited us to um, stay at his hotel that I think it was a holiday inn that was near um, the Hayland training ground and then since that day, it's, it's just been vibes, we've been close, um, I've got to know his family really well and then um, especially his time in Germany because he was alone most of the time so I would spend 90% of my, of my day, every single day with him, doing things together and still to this day, um, we have a very, very close bond. He checks up on me, I check up on him, um, we let each other know how our progress is going in football what's happening, if we have any problems, in terms of maybe if one's not playing, how to like, kind of overcome it and just be calm and just be 100% when the opportunity is there. So yeah, motivation is there for him as well. So that's a guy that I've been maybe five, since he was 13, I've known him. He's turning 20 now, so it's a long time. So yeah, our relationship is really close and um, my mum even met him when she came over to Germany and she met his family as well. So yeah, I would say as a whole, from being a friend, I can actually like, call him family. They were very well behaved, uh, cheeky chappies. Of, we, we knew that they were, because they were very, very active uh, boys, really full of, full of energy. Uh, and they showed, you know, great sporting talent even when they were young. Um, but what I particularly liked about them both uh, and their whole family was how lovely and polite they've always been. Just exceptional uh, manners, really. Uh, and we're delighted that somebody who's come through our school has, has succeeded so well. He's an inspiration to our children, actually.